everyone, welcome back to another Fin Factor Spotlight. I'm Paul. And I'm Aaron. And uh, this week we're going to be talking about uh, three different things actually. One, mm -hmm. a, a new lounge that's opened up. Two, some new food options that are available at the tank. And then the third thing being... The gamer game coming up, uh, coming up at the tank. This weekend, actually. Yeah, very cool stuff. So first off, let's go ahead and start off with the, the new Juno Lounge. Now, if you guys had watched our episode where we interviewed uh, Doug Wilson. The Dugs. The Dugs, yes. <laughs> Doug Wilson, Doug Murray, and Doug Bentz. Uh, this is where we were sitting when we did this shot, or do the shoot, rather, the whole interview. So right. what they did was they kind of renovated this area. They added some railing and whatnot so people can't mm -hmm. fall off, which is nice. <laughs> Uh, and they, they made a nice lounge out of there. Uh, they also made walkways to get there because you yeah. had to walk through an office, basically through a closet <laughs> to get out to the open uh, area where we did the interview. That's true. Yeah. So uh, the Juno Lounge, again, they've got two bars. Uh, What's their full bars, right? And they've got two 16 full bars. taps, was it? 16 taps, uh, and there's a bunch of high top tables in between. Uh, you, you look at the pictures right here and there's a great view looking out onto the street so if you love people watching this is a great place to come before the game mm -hmm. and because the entrance it's actually the main entrance you're standing above the main entrance uh, and if you look down you have the little square of glass um, at your feet so when you walk into the arena you can look up and you'll see all of the glass right there, there you'll you be go. able to see through it but uh, that's exactly where the bar is. So and it's a pretty cool spot. Yeah, something else you'll be able to see for uh, very large uh, TVs. How, how big are these things? 55 inches. That's pretty big. Yeah, it's not bad. So, uh, yeah, the four of those TVs for you guys to be able to watch uh, things that are going on with the game and whatnot. Again, those are kind of in the bar area there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, really cool little lounge. Uh, awesome stuff. Great use of space that was otherwise kind of dead in the Definitely. Arena. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. I think it actually, there was a bar that was closer to the information table that they moved or they took away and put okay. these in. So it, it really frees up the space, I think, in the walkways yeah. uh, in between periods and stuff. Yeah. So it's a good it's a good spot for them to do it. Very good stuff. Okay, so then the next little topic, got some new food options. We were actually able to go and uh, chow down on some of these things here. So there was a couple sandwiches, there was some wings. So why don't yeah. you kind of just, uh, we'll, we'll flow some pictures right now. Sure, so, so Chef Baca was in, uh, I think he was in like the test kitchen area. So. Mm -hmm. He was kind of testing out some new foods and they became so popular that they, the arena asked them to stay and have a permanent spot. So you'll be able to find these food options in the arena now um, all the time. And uh, let we, there were some awesome pastrami sandwiches. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some teriyaki wings that were just, re those were really good. Yeah. I'm not even a big wings fan and I really like them a lot. <laughs> um, and then there's a grilled cheese with the with the soup that goes with it uh, to dip your grilled cheese in. Nice. Um, what was your favorite one? Oh, I really like the pastrami. Yeah? The pastrami was killer. I actually like the BLT. Oh, okay. And I'm not a huge BLT fan. I usually think they're a little too dry for me. And this one was not dry at all, and the bacon was super thick, so it was really good. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so take a look for those options in the... Uh, is it only in the suite areas? Or no, is that no, no, no. He has a permanent spot. Okay. Uh, I think... I can't remember what section it is. I want to say it's in the 220s area. Yeah. Uh, and I think it might be up high, one of those ones that you have to walk up to. Gotcha. We'll definitely keep an eye out for those because uh, everything that we tasted when we were there absolutely delicious so last thing we're going to talk about is an event at the tank it's gamer day at the tank is it not correct okay and so they're going to be having a tournament uh, i know nhl 20 is one of the games that they'll be doing uh, for this tournament i think there's a couple other games there as well but this is brought on by twisted wrister hockey yep okay yeah, and he reached me? out to us and asked us to help promote this yeah. because it's the first time ever they're going to be doing this so there's a any i guess i think it's an nhl 20 tournament so uh, it starts on 10.30 in the morning on Sunday, and it's $50 to get in, but that also includes a ticket to the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you get into the finals, the finals are going to be broadcast on the Jumbotron, I believe in between the second and third periods. Nice. Um, and then there's a bunch of prizes, a bunch of gifts, and one of the prizes is a Zamboni ride, which is pretty sweet. Nice. <laughs> so that's uh, Sunday, March 8th. Yep. At uh, 10 to 10.30 in the 10.30 morning? is when the tournament starts, when the start. and the Sharks game starts at 7 p.m. There you go. Okay, so uh, if you are a gamer, we know we got a couple uh, gamer friends that are friends of the show, and they uh, play with us afterwards, so uh, maybe it's a good one for them to jump in on and dominate. Yeah. Yep. Okay. If you're good at NHL 20, here's your chance to show it. <laughs> and you'll be uh, featured on the Jumbotron if you're a winner, so yep. all good things. In any case, that kind of wraps up this spotlight, this Fit Factor spotlight, that is, and I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to add here. We're yeah. good to go. That's good. Okay. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode, check out our other content, especially interviews. 
You can interact with us directly through social media at The Fin Factor and on Instagram at Fin Factor. And don't forget to join our live streams on YouTube. Visit our website at thefinfactor.com where you'll find all of our episodes as videos or podcasts. You'll also find our exclusive merchandise to help support our show.